So, this just keeps getting better and better and better. I'm still releasing plaque pretty much every day, even though I'm not juice fasting anymore. And it's for a very good reason. And I'm doing something, basically the way I'm living, firstly, I wanna speak about diet because I feel like I'm qualified now to speak on what is the best food for me anyway and because I'm a human it feels like I'm able to speak on the best food for humans but I'm just speaking my own experience here because I'm someone that's done every diet now at some point in my life I've done the keto diet I've done the vegan diet I've done a vegan keto diet I've done a carnival diet I've done a pizza diet I've done a cocaine diet I've done everything I've done juice fasting and I've come to learn what the best diet is, the best food, the optimal food. And for one, I've realized that health isn't really about what we eat, it's about what we don't eat. It's about how well the body is able to eliminate all the, all the things we put inside it. What it really wants, I've come to learn, is the water. The water in the fruit and the vegetables because the body is what like i don't even know the percentage but we're high percent water beings um so i did that 96 day fast and then i broke it and ended up eating junk food again pizzas fucking all the shit and then i did a 35 day juice fast and ended up kind of eating shit again, but I couldn't tolerate bread or meat or dairy anymore. Um, after that 35 day juice fast, I remember eating a chicken burger from Burger King and it fucked me up. I was, I was fucked for about seven days. I couldn't breathe properly. It got stuck in like a part of me and it was blocking my breath and it was, it was horrible. I really paid for that. And that was when I learned that the cleaner you get, the less you can handle what is considered to be wrong. So the more gunked up you are, the less of a gauge you have. You don't even know what's good and what's bad for you because you're so caught up in the, in the chaos of disgustingness that you don't even know. And then I did this juice fast, right? And I've broke it and now I just eat so I'll tell you about what mistakes I've made since I broke that fast, but mostly I'm eating fruit. Um, I feel best when I only eat fruit. When I eat salad, raw salad, so like lettuce leaves and, you know, like tomatoes, cucumbers, just like salad stuff, like raw veggies. It doesn't hurt me or damage me, but it does sort of like slow me down and I can feel it. It sits heavy in my stomach. Avocados are the worst for that. I don't think I want to eat avocados anymore. I'm not even sure that they're food. I don't think we're supposed to eat them. Purely based on how I feel when I eat one. It sits in my stomach for about three or four hours. It's horrible. And I really feel it because I feel so empty. It's just an uncomfortable feeling. And I won't be, won't be eating those much anymore. Um, so salad is all right. It, it, it doesn't damage you. But what I did do the other day was I ate from a local restaurant, I had some hummus, um, falafel, which was fried, and what else did it come with? Like an eggplant, which had like tahini on it, and I think a bit of olive oil. And about half an hour, 40 minutes after I ate it, I started getting all this gas, and my stomach like ballooned out massively and I kept burping and burping and burping and then I got the worst pain and then I got a pain in my arm and then I was getting pains in my hands and anxiety panic attacks and then I puked and I threw it up so that's definitely not food um, what I've come to learn is the best food is fruit I feel fantastic when I eat fruit um, I don't feel like I need anything else so generally when I'm having what I would say a perfect day of eating I would eat I would wake up, I don't normally eat until about three or four o'clock either. So 
I spend about 19, 20 hours of my day in a fasted state, which is contributing to me still losing plaque. And I'll eat a fruit meal and then probably like a five or six hour eating window and I'll just eat as much fruit as I want. And if I do that, I feel fantastic. I always eliminate it pretty much first thing in the morning. Um, I'm eating like mangoes, um, mostly mangoes because I love mangoes, uh, like papayas, dates, uh, oranges, mangosteen. Um, today I'm going to go look for some cherimoya because I never tried that and apparently it's good. But basically over the last three weeks I've been trying things. I've eaten like salad, like corn salad with quinoa and cashew nuts. And it just doesn't, it just kind of like hurts and it slows you down and it takes away like the buzzing energy. Like that's another thing I want to speak about. There's like, there's like a buzzing energy you get. When you get all this plaque out and then you start eating fruit, you get like this buzz and it's almost too much sometimes. That's why I think that we self-sabotage with bad food because the more of this buzzing energy you have, the more responsibility you have to like do something with it because it's a conscious energy. It's quite hard work being fully conscious from when you wake up to when you go to sleep. And then even at night, my dreams are so vivid that I'm conscious in my sleep and it's like, just like full on consciousness and like, don't know. It's like, I haven't really gained enough new behavior patterns to justify this amount of consciousness yet. If that makes sense, it does make sense. And I don't know, I feel like all of the old stuff I used to focus on, I used to like worry about like the situation in the world and all this ridiculous stuff that I think is now, I now think is like ridiculous to focus on. Like, yes, there's bad things in the world, there's evil in the world, but as far as I'm concerned, it's all for our benefit because, where well, it is, it's a blessing. Life is a gift and so I'm just learning how to navigate this new level of consciousness that I've achieved. It's like many years of personal and spiritual development in a very short space of time, probably comparably to the, the, the regular path, I guess. So that's the thing. And I'm going to continue to experiment with diet, obviously, but I'm convinced that it's fruit. I don't feel like I need like protein or to worry about the right amount of calories or all that shit. Because like I just eat when I'm hungry and then I stop when I'm not. Like it's, it's so simple, but that's the way, you know, like, I'm listening to myself instead of what the nutrition guidelines on the government website say. You know what I mean? Like, since when did we stop listening to ourselves and start listening to the government, whatever that is? We just need to sort of take back our, uh, our innate sense of knowing ourselves because that's another thing that you sort of get. It's like a prize you get from detoxing the body. It's like uh, you'll learn or you'll uncover You'll, you'll, you'll deprogram yourself. You lose all the conditioning that you've got. Or not all, well, all of it eventually. I've probably still got some, obviously. I can't, I can't say that I'm some like super enlightened, do you know what I mean? But you lose all that shit. And you start trusting yourself. You start listening to yourself. You start realizing that like you do, all, you do have all the answers within yourself. You just like, it's just like, we're just like so bogged down by all this plaque and all these acids and all this shit. And, it's, and it really does bog you down. And you don't even know how bogged down you are until you get rid of it. And then it's like, oh, fucking hell. Like, and then you see all the other people walking around and they're all like operating from a place of pain and trauma. You can see it in people's eyes because once you've dealt with it in yourself, you can see it in others, right? I'm sure some people can relate. And I've realized that the most, again, I've said it before, but most things people are doing is because they're running away from themselves because they don't want to face the trauma that they've got carrying, that they're carrying around in their body, their mind and their consciousness. And if they just 
stopped and sat with themselves. For me, it was like three months. Well, I suppose I've been doing this sort of fasting stuff for a year, but in the last three months, I haven't gone out really anywhere. I haven't done much at all. I've just been sat with myself for three months, drinking watermelon juice, staring at a wall, essentially. Sounds boring, and it is, but I feel like it's like necessary because now that I've got so comfortable just letting negative emotions and negative feelings and all that stuff come up and like actually focusing on it, that in the future, when something traumatizing or negative happens, I know how to deal with it now and it won't be a problem. I know exactly how to file it away in my head and not file it away the way most people or the way I used to, which is, you know, like fucking sweep it under the rug until the rug gets so high that you've got a big mess on your hands. So I'm gonna keep experimenting with diet, but I'm convinced it's fruit. It's, it's just like, just based on the way it makes me feel. I don't have any energy problems. I don't have, I, oh, I do have an energy problem. I've got too much of it. That's for real. I've, I've, I don't know how to fill my time. I'm not interested in any of the things I used to be interested in. I used to like playing computer games and arguing with people on the internet about, like about shit really. Just, it's just, it's irrelevant. It's like, it's a complete waste of time. Um, so I'm just gonna learn how to live life now. I'm about to leave Thailand. Uh, I've got a couple of days left. I'm gonna go and explore some other places. And then I'm going back to Australia to sort of like rejoin society. I know there's a society here, but I haven't been part of it anyway. And no one speaks the language I speak. So I don't really feel like, I feel like a foreigner in this land. And I don't know, it'd be nice to go back to somewhere where everyone speaks my language. I'm looking forward to that anyway. And I'm sure I'll learn more and more and more as I go. But I'm just gonna stay I'm going to keep perfecting the craft of detoxification. I'm going to learn all I can and then I'm going to relay my experience into these videos for other people to hopefully take something out of. And, you know, I'm, I hope I can, I can help people. So, yeah, I'm going to keep going and happy days. That'll be it for now. See you later.